Give him a big round of applause. I did my uh, project on all the drive cars and why they're better to buy than most of the most other cars. Um, so who has this ever happened to where you're in the snow and you get stuck and you have to shovel out your car? Alright, well, I mean, if you have a four-wheel drive car, you can get out of that. All-wheel drive cars help it out. So, here's a few things about all-wheel drive cars. And this is according to CDX uh, textbook.com. Um, they are continually see the power of continuously all four wheels, and this um, helps receive maximal attraction on snow, gravel, wet roads, anything. And um, they're for better for uh, slippery surfaces and you know, off-road terrain, so you can go like on hikes, so you know, drive up and down, or whatever. And um, there's no require, uh, there's no um, requirement for drivers to merely shift to an all-wheel drive mode. It's always doing that. And all wheel drive cars are lighter and more compact than four wheel drive cars, so you get better gas mileage and more efficient. And they're starting to become more common. And Subarus are mostly all wheel drive cars, and Audis are also. So if you think about it, an all wheel drive car compared to a four wheel drive car, you would think they're the same thing, but they actually aren't. An all wheel drive car is going to have the power is going to go to all four wheels at all times, but a four wheel drive car is going to. Um, have power the rear wheels are, and then you have to switch it to all-wheel drive, which is going to be better for, which is most um, trucks or SUVs, and it's better for off-road if you actually want to do that. And then all-wheel drive cars going to be more compact and decent for off-road, and it's going to be a better gas mileage. So that's my car now, which is all-wheel drive, and that was my truck that I had earlier, and I sold, and that was four-wheel drive. Um, there's a few problems with front-wheel drive cars, which most people have. Um, according to mechanicalmania.com, um, the center of gravity of the vehicle is typically farther forward, and this can result in understeer, which is a picture right here. So if you turn to the right really hard, you can actually go off to the left. Like, it's not as much, it wouldn't be steering as good as you think. And um, the drive fat, uh, draft shaft is in a four-wheel drive car. It makes uh, the turning radius bigger than um, any other thing. And it has low traction control. Um, in low traction conditions, the front wheels lose traction first, making it steering inefficient. And I used to have a Kia Soul, that was part of a drive, and I got stuck plenty of times in the snow. Um, and another thing, uh, this is also according to the same thing, uh, mechanic <coughs> or mania.com. Um, this one's for real drive cars and the problems with them. And, um, more difficult to master because the back end can kick out if you hit the gas too much. Um, the space is usually smaller because it's more compact and sporty. Um, it's typically more expensive because it's more usually a luxury car sometimes, like beamers or stuff. Um, and it's more difficult to handle on low grip surfaces. And that's the same thing with snow. And my friend has an S10, which is rear wheel drive, and he has a terrible time driving it. In conclusion, after giving the background information about all-wheel drive cars and the reasons why they're better than four-wheel drive cars and rear-wheel drive cars, um, I hope that I was able to convince you to go for an all-wheel drive car because they're better to drive overall compared to most of the other cars. They're, um, they're better in off-road terrain, snow, sleet, whatever, and um, more cost-efficient than four-wheel drive cars that will help you in that time. And, and the source there and everyone said that's it.